Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team. Here to do a video showing you how to get uh, Bootstrap Custom Recovery, which is a version of Clockwork Mod, on your Motorola Photon 4G. Right now, uh, to get in, uh, basically Clockwork Mod on your phone, the real Clockwork Mod, you're going to need to unlock your bootloader on your uh, Motorola. But unlocking your bootloader is actually breaking, going to break 4G for you. Uh, so 4G will not work if you do unlock your bootloader on your Photon. So right now, here is the workaround for that to use a an app to get uh, bootstrap recovery, clockwork mod recovery, as opposed to having to break your 4G to get clockwork mod on your phone. Uh, anyways, um, what what basically what the bootloader is, is uh, security that uh, your phone runs to ensure that you don't... Uh, have uh, don't have clockwork mod installed things of that nature so what uh, unlocking it does is it allows you to install clockwork mod on your phone but anyways right now I'm going to show you uh, you are going to need to be rooted so as you can see I have super user in my app drawer right there uh, if you're not rooted uh, I do have a video I'll post that link to that video in the description uh, anyways go ahead and click on the link in the description take you to the Android Creative Syndicate forum and as you can see, Motorola Photon 4G Custom Recovery Bootstrap Clockwork Mod. Uh, what you're going to need to do is click on this download link, Download Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, it's called bootstrapsign.apk. It's going to download. It's going to look like uh, this. Bootstrap Signed APK. It's an APK file, which is what all file formats apps are in for Android. Um, and once you have that, as you can see, instructions, you're going to be rooted and... Uh, you're going to need an AC adapter with USB charge cord. So just be sure you have a, an outlet and a charge cord available. But, okay, once you have that APK, APK downloaded, that bootstrap sign, you're going to need to put it on your Photon. So go ahead and uh, plug in your Photon into your computer, like so. And once it's plugged in, go ahead and manage your USB connection, and then hit USB mass storage, and hit OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to connect your... Uh, phone to your computer and hit open folder to view files and then uh, just go ahead and transfer as you can see two of them pop up uh, one's the internal storage one's your SD card it doesn't matter what you transfer it over to as you can see I've got both of them MOT which is internal removable disk which is the SD card uh, it doesn't matter just put the APK in one of those it honestly it really doesn't matter I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on my uh, SD card right here removable disk G and as you can see, there it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and eject both of them. So right click on the SD card, eject it, and uh, whoops, going to go back. And then on my MOT, Motorola, I'm going to click on it and eject that as well. So now both of them are ejected. I can now go ahead and go to my phone, manage connection. I'm going to hit charge only. <clears throat> and now uh, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my phone. Now. Go ahead and on your phone, go to the phone's file explorer. It's called Files. So click on that and then go to the SD card or internal phone storage, wherever you put it. Go to SD card and then click on Bootstrap Signed at APK. Click on that and it says, Do you want to install this application? System Recovery. Hit Install. Uh, another message might pop up saying uh, third party applications block. Just enable, enable it so you are able to install them. So hit Install. It says installing and it says application installed. Now hit done. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into the app. Uh, go to my app drawer and scroll down. It's called system recovery right there, right next to super user. So press system recovery and as you can see it gives you some options. I'm going to go ahead and press install recovery right up at the top. And once the, it'll ask uh, for super user permissions, hit allow. Take a little while and then it'll say install success. As you can see, I'm going to hit OK and I'm actually going to hit it again. Just hit install recovery again. It's going to do the same process. It'll say install success. Hit OK. Now what you're going to need to do is go ahead and grab your uh, charger out of, from your wall charger. And I'm going to grab it real quick. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug my photon into my wall charger. And just ensure that it charges. Uh, I plug it in like so. And now it says, I'm going to go ahead and turn in my screen off. As you can see, it says fully charged, unplug your charger right there. So you know it's charging. And while it's plugged in, I'm going to actually now 
go ahead and click recovery mode. So press recovery mode. What it should do is it should actually reboot your phone and it's going to slowly reboot into uh, recovery mode. Leave uh, this plugged into the wall, by the way. So I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but uh, it should uh, slowly boot into recovery. 10 Far's Clockwork Mod Recovery. So thanks to uh, actually the creator, 10 Far Lin. Big thanks to him for doing this for our uh, for the Photon users. As you can see, it rebooted on its own into the dual core technology screen. And there you go. As you can see, it says Droid X2 Recovery, gfan.com version 2.5.1.8. There you go. So now you do have this uh, bootstrap recovery. It's kind of modified. It looks just like Clockwork Mod. As you can see, uh, you have options such as Reboot System. Um, I believe you navigate the same as Clockwork Volume up and down to navigate through it. Yep, just like so. And then I believe the power button's to select. So I'm going to go to Install Zip from SD Card. Hit the power button. Yep, goes right to it. And then you can go to Choose Zip from SD Card. And there you go. You can flash your uh, ROMs, your themes, etc. through this uh, bootstrap recovery. The key is, though, you need to make sure that you flash ROMs that don't need the unlock bootloader. Uh, that's a key right there. So um, that's how you navigate through this, uh, basically, bootstrap recovery. Um, it is uh, what's used on Droid X2, and I believe the Atrix 4G as well. That's the, This is the recovery used. But, um, yeah, it's just same as uh, Clockwork. You got advanced options. You got wipe cache partition. Um, you can actually, I don't know, you can actually wipe your data factory reset. All these Clockwork mod options. I wonder, I'm going to try and hit the bad, sorry I'm nav not navigating this while the cord's not reaching. But I'm going to hit the bottom back, lit back button and that doesn't go back. So you need to manually go back by going to the go back and hit the power button then. But yeah, anyways, as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and hit reboot system now. Should reboot my phone. Uh, like so. Sorry for the poor angles. It's the cord's not reaching. I should have grabbed a longer cord. But anyways, as you can see, my phone will reboot. It should go back to uh, how it is. And then what you need to do is every time you want to go into that clockwork mod recovery, you need to use the app and just hit the reboot mode. You can. I'm gonna go ahead and let this boot back up, and then I'll show you guys how to get back into that clockwork mod recovery. Okay, now that my phone has booted back up, I'm going to actually just show you guys quickly how to get back into that uh, recovery option uh, in case you need to. You are going to need to plug your phone back in to the, your uh, wall charger, so I'm going to do that again real quick. So just go ahead and plug it in, and once it's plugged in, go ahead and go to your app drawer and go to the system recovery app again. Click on it. And you don't need to hit install recovery anymore since it's already installed. Just go ahead and click on the recovery mode button. What that's going to do is it's actually just going to reboot your phone and go back into that recovery mode. You don't need to hit install recovery anymore just because uh, you've actually already installed it. So what this is going to do is it should reboot your phone and go right back into that uh, recovery mode option for you. As you can see, automatically reboots. And once it uh, boots back up, it should go back into that recovery option. I'm not calling it clockwork mod recovery because it's not, I mean, it's obviously extremely similar. It's just a bootstrap clockwork mod since it's through an app. So it's not uh, integrated into the device. So it's um, we, obviously, like I said, we won't be able to get that until uh, until we unlock our bootloader. I'm, I'll I'm depend. I'm waiting to see if I'm going to do an unlocked bootloader option. I need to do a little more research. I haven't had a little any time. I've been really busy with school and uh, school and golf right now. But I'm actually going to look into doing a video showing you how to unlock your bootloader. I'm just waiting to to do a little more research to make sure I can recover back to stock and have 4G working as well. I do get 4G in some areas around my house, not in my house, but around it, so it is sometimes nice to have. But anyways, sorry, I'm off on a tangent there. Um, I am back into my clockwork mod recovery. Just uh, do whatever you want. As you can see, you don't have to hit install anymore since it's already installed, and you're good to go. Uh, that's how you get uh, your custom recovery options to flash ROMs, themes, etc. You don't have kernels yet until we have unlocked bootloaders. So be patient for those. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment. Send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, as always, um, you, 
link all links will be in the description of the video you can follow me on, at twitter at qbking77 um, you can also subscribe to me for future how to videos as well so feel free to subscribe to me and as always thanks for watching hope you guys like the video